Good morning, everybody. It's Ramona. Welcome back to Wax MDs. It used to be weekly Wax MDs. I haven't been keeping up to it with weekly, but I'm going to try to do better. Uh, it's really a mishmash of stuff here. You won't find a whole lot that I put in my melting basket last week because when I did my melting basket, it was sunny. It was 75 degrees. It was a beautiful day. I was ready for spring. The day after that, it turned into winter again, 40s, 50s, dreary, rainy. I haven't seen the sun in a week, so I've been pulling stuff that wasn't in my basket. It's kind of like all over the place. So uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about a new melting basket. I'm just kind of in wax quandary, if you will. Okay, so let's talk about candles. Um, I burned and reviewed this, uh, who made this, MFWG Seagrass. Um, it was okay in the bathroom. I don't know that it would uh, do good in a big area. It did tunnel a little bit towards the end. It did self-extinguish. Uh, green sea kelp, wild herbs, marine aldehydes, florals, amber woods, and white moss. So I did enjoy the scent. Uh, and in a small room, I'll, I, it did good. Actually, there's a review on my channel. You can look at the review. So in a small room, it did good. Not sure about a big room. If you had a bigger candle, yes, I did like the scent. Okay. Uh, this was gifted to me from my friend, Miss Jane, uh, who is from Nova Scotia, as am I. And she gifted me with some of these Woodwick candles from the company Four Sisters Candles and Gifts made in Berwick, Nova Scotia. And it is a, how many ounces does it say? It's four ounces. 100% soy and beeswax, uh, and it's a wood wick in the scent mulled apple cider. Uh, and it did good till about three quarters of the way down, and then the wick self extinguished. I could not get it to light again. I even held the lighter over it until it got enough of whatever it was to ignite it, um, and I couldn't get it to re to reignite. Uh, I had it in the bathroom because it's a small candle uh, in the spare bathroom. And it was really good scent. The scent for a little candle wasn't too bad, probably six, six and a half out of 10. So I did enjoy it while it was melting. Um, and I've never had wood wick, wicks before, so I don't know if this is typical of wood wicks or not. Um, but I do have a couple more that I'm going to be burning as well. So thank you, Jane. Uh, from Homeworks, I, mel I burned a cranberry pumpkin cake. And this was really, really good. And when I first got this candle, this picture just inspired me so much. Like, oh my gosh, that looks so good. So I made a pumpkin bunt cake with the glaze and the nuts and the cranberries. And there's a picture of it on my Instagram page. And on Instagram, I am Moni717. And if you trend, if you look back, 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 you will see the cake that I made next to this candle. And it was really good. And the candle is really good too. Um, now this is a four wick and, uh, this was from the winter collection or fall winter. I'm not sure if it was fall or winter. Um, and as if you follow homeworks, if you're a candle person, you know, by now, I'm not the only one to say it, that the four wicks are, in my opinion, atrocious. And I'm not the only one that thinks that, uh, most of the, the TSV, uh, harvest slash winter TSV candles, they were instead of three, I bought both sets. Uh, the majority of them, uh, I had to candle, I had to cotton ball three to four times. Several of them, I just let them go. There was still like a quarter of the candle left and they extinguished again. It's like, okay, I can't do this anymore. So I was really not impressed with the four wick candles. I loved the three wick, can three wicks. I'm not sure what the motivation was to change them to four wicks. I'm being told that they are improved now for the spring collection. We shall see. But anyway, this one, I only cotton balled twice. So I say only because compared to three, four, five times, that's good. Compared to the three wicks candles, three wick candles, never cotton balled, one candle, not once, not ever, not, never. They didn't tunnel. I. They were good throwers. They didn't self extinguish. I mean, I was just over the moon with the three wick candles. And if you look back and see my reviews, there's a lot of drama about, you know, PR candles. Whatever I said on those three wicks, if I said I loved them, I loved them. I did love the three wicks. I do not love the four wicks. So fingers crossed that there'll be improvements, as, and I'm told there, there will be, so hopefully there will be 
Okay, I'm way off topic. This is the empties, and yes, I love this one. Uh, I love the scent, I love the throw, and I only had to cotton ball it twice. Take that as whatever. Okay, moving on. Okay, so what I was melting but didn't finish was I pulled out some Snow Queen from um, from uh, Gypsy Monroe Wax, and this is crisp winter fruit plus pine plus, plus snow. This is really good. It's, it is, you know, Christmas tree-ish, no, because it has the pine in there. Yeah, and it was a good throw. It was probably seven and a half, eight out of ten. It was really good. So um, definitely a winter scent. Uh, I had some friends over for dinner, and I'm always in a quandary what to you know melt when people come over. So I pulled out Moon Spice Cookie by Destination Wax. They loved it. Yes, ma'am. Like, what are you melting? Oh my God, it smells so good. Oh, that would be my Destination Wax favorite favorite scent, Moon Spice Cookie. And no, you can't have any. Uh, get your own. So then. I then I chopped up a toasted vanilla chai from Bath and Body Works. This also was really good. The throw is a little light on this one. Moon Spice Cookie is like 9 out of 10, if not 10 out of 10. Uh, it's really nice. It's definitely a creamy vanilla, spicy notes. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. I actually wish I had another one, and they're all gone now. But if I had another one, I would be happy about that. Uh, but it is good. Like I said, it's a, the throw was maybe... Six and a half, seven, not a great throw, not horrible, strong medium, I would say. From Sassy Girl Aroma, let's see. Um, Teresa T for two sent me a few pieces of, what was she sending me? I can't remember now, sorry, Teresa. Teresa T for two on, on um, YouTube and Instagram. Anyway, included, she sent me a couple pieces of Absolutely Fabulous Latte because she knows I love, love, love this and I haven't had it since I it, I used my last bit more than a year ago. So she sent me a couple nibblings of that. Well, lo and behold, the next thing you know, Teresa's sending me a message that Sassy Girl Aroma is going to have loaves of Abfab. And so yes, I did get a loaf of Abfab and a few other things as well. This is so good. The scent description on this is very long. Rich, moist, white cake with hints of silky white chocolate and sweet cream, shredded toasted coconut coated with sweet vanilla, caramel, and coffee. That's a lot. I can tell you I don't get all that. I get coffee. I get a creamy, I get a creamy coffee, and I love it. I love it. I love it. I don't care that I can't read any of here, here, read, smell any of the other notes um, because I'm happy with the scent that I do get of like vanilla, maybe a little, no, I don't even get caramel. I get like a creamy vanilla coffee, strong on the coffee. So I really love that one. And thank you so much, Teresa, for giving me a heads up that that was um, out. Okay, so then the other day, I was still kind of back in the winter mode as well, all of these are, you can tell, winter. Um, and I was felt like melting sweet cherry pie. So I pulled out my sweet cherry pie Bath and Body Works candle, um, and I love this. I definitely get the, the pine note, the crust note. I love it, I love it, I love it. I get this tart cherry as well. But I was kind of also in the mood for coffee, and I was going to do some campfire, campsite coffee from Bath and Body Works. So I was like, I wonder what would happen if I did them together, coffee and a sweet cherry pie. And oh boy, was it good. It was really, really good. So if you have sweet cherry pie, and you have any coffee scent, I suggest giving it a try. The pie and coffee together was so, so good. And as far as that goes, you could probably put coffee with any kind of bakery scent and really have your house smell like really like a literally like a bakery coffee shop kind of scent. So that was really, really good. I would definitely do that again. Okay, Destination Wax Plum Tart. I melted that with uh, Scentsy, bring back, uh, Scentsy Sweet Plum Pastry for a Wax Wars. Um, Plum Wax Wars, and I like them both. I do get a little more of a the, the pastry note from this one, um, but I do like them both. And the reason I did it is because a lot of people love sweet plum pastry, but you can't get it unless you have it in your stash already, or if it comes back again, it's Bring Back My Bar. It's no longer on the site. But Plum Tart is on Destination Wax website, so if you're jonesing for this, but you can't get it, you might wanna try Plum Tart from Destination Wax. Okay, 
Uh, let's see, I did a Goose Creek lemon vanilla cake batter. Yum, yum, yum. This was so good. If you like lemon bakery scents, it was good. Now, it was good. I'm not gonna take that back. The throw was, could have been better. I would have thought, I would have liked the throw to be stronger. It was like a six and a half, seven. If you like lemon bakery, uh, Sensationals has lemon sugar cookies and Better Homes and Gardens has lemon pound cake or something like that. Both of those are very good and both of those are great throwers. So if you can get either one of those lemon ones from Walmart, those are just as good as this and actually they throw a little bit better. But I did enjoy this. I wish it was a little bit stronger. Uh, from Rainbow Melts, I pulled out Fall in a Mug, which is pumpkin spice latte plus cream plus almond biscotti. This was good. I know you can't, there's nothing there for you to see, so why am I doing this? Um, uh, it was definitely, I did get some, a, a hint of a spice note in here. Um, yeah, from the spice latte. Uh, not, I didn't get much almond biscotti, which is fine, because I don't care for almond slash, um, you know, that pistachio almond note I don't care for, but I did enjoy that one. Uh, from the coffee shop from Zate Bath, I melted Sunday Times, which is fresh brew, coffee, snickerdoodles, and 27 across. And I can see these lights flickering right now, and I don't know if you guys ever see the lights flickering, um, but they're quite annoying, and they are probably the original fluorescent lights. So my next house project, hopefully it'll go better than the doors and windows project, is to replace my kitchen lights. That, um light slash ceiling fan is new when I moved in. It's a brushed nickel, it's totally fine. I'm gonna leave that, but these fluorescent lights are gonna go. They're, they're gonna go. And so I know like when I do, when I film on my island, you can see the reflection of the fluorescent lights, which is pretty atrocious. They're disgusting, I hate them. So hopefully in the next few months we will have some new reflections. Okay, off topic again, hello. Okay, Sensationals Jasmine Tea. This. I think was gifted to me by Canada Kim, yeah, imported in Canada. So I either bought someone else home, or, but I think Kim got me this one, I'm not sure. Anyway, I really like it. Definitely you get a black tea, but you definitely get the jasmine tea as well. I like jasmine tea. Jasmine tea is a little bit, has a little bit, obviously it's a jasmine, has a little bit of a floral note to it. Um, now me, I'm from the East Coast of Canada, I, and I can't speak to all of Canada. I, this is what traditionally we do on the East Coast in the Maritimes. In our black tea, not flavored tea, but our black tea, we have, most people put milk and sugar, uh, um, as do I. But jasmine tea is, you drink it black, or any herbal tea, I'm, that's nothing new. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. But anyway, this was good. Um, the throw was pretty decent, like seven, seven and a half out of 10. So definitely got the tea note with a little bit of the jasmine, so it was a good one. And then I have a couple Scentsy ones, Peppermint Dreams. This was a Scentsy Saturday. Ah, really, really good. Creamy, peppermint, loved it. Uh, Silver Bells is already up. The, and the, the review for this is up. The review for this is up. Silver Bells. Yeah, I was confused about this one. My nose didn't get what the scent note said I should get. I got a little bit of mint, but more like a a masculine, maybe like a body wash kind of thing, but I did like it, I do like it. And Snowberry, which will be coming up this Saturday, so I'm not gonna talk about that one. So that's what I went through this past 10 days or so. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about a melting basket. I still have a lot of last week's, the ones that I pulled, the spring ones, which probably I'm gonna put them back and start over. It's like 68 degrees today, but it's still really overcast and cloudy. So I'm just, I'm not feeling spring again like I was last week. So I'm kind of all over the place. So anyhow, um, I hope everybody's having a great week. Tomorrow I will see you for Wednesday, uh, Walmart Wax Wednesday. So I will see you then. Bye.